everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I would like to add some things to my uh, journal from things I found in my craft room. And I'm missing uh, pockets and maybe tuck spots. Uh, as this journal it's made f uh, mostly from leftovers from previous journals. The pages I didn't use, pockets I made for previous journals but I didn't use them. And most of it it's of course in vintage style and I do have here quite lots of book pages. So I decided to continue with this style. Book pages and maybe toilet paper rolls because I like to use toilet paper rolls for some additional pockets, frames, like this one, uh, into my journals. First I thought I'm gonna use as additional pockets and uh, stuff with I will, which I will add to this journal, uh, pages from my collection of uh, Dada style, Dadaism style. A quite crazy collection of, uh, with Dadaism kind of ish art. And I thought I'm gonna use it in this journal, uh, as you can see here. So pictures like this are in this collection, but I didn't use it. I tried, but it didn't sit well in this journal. So I'm gonna be continuing with those uh, book pages and try to kind of fill the gaps where first I put these and then I decided oh, I don't want them there. Like here, I would like to have uh, here some pocket and maybe pocket with flap, something like little envelope. I do have here pages from a book. They are all same size. Uh, I'm gonna be using two pages for uh, kind of like background and one page for a pocket. So page for pocket, I'm just gonna fold on half. This is kind of like most common um, book page craft book page pocket so this I'm just gonna glue together to reinforce the book page and here the inside I'm gonna keep this way the back side oh yeah, the back side I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna glue them together so once this is folded here I do have still the writing the right way and when it's open I still have writing the right way and here will be the pocket inside with the writing the right way so I'm gonna glue these two together I do have my two pieces this is glued and nice and dry and I do have glued these two book pages first I'm gonna fix the closure I would like to have string closure so this will be pocket and this will be flap over that pocket. I'm gonna fold it straight away in the size I think I would like to have it. From an old envelope I'm gonna punch two circles uh, 1.9 centimeters which I think it's three quarter of inch. Circle punch. Poke the holes in the middle. -ish. I think somewhere here. Yeah this one is better. And now, one I would fix right here. I think this is the middle. Uh, if you need to be precise, just try to find the middle of your page. And I'm going to fix it with brads. Like this. Uh, the back side, where those uh, legs of the brad are, <laughs> I'm going to just cover with the tape that's the bottom now I'm gonna put these two together fold the flap down and grab this second one and place it above that bottom one I'm gonna get a pencil make a mark and fix my brat right here uh, the circle right here like this again I placed uh, tape on the back to secure the legs of the brad so I do have my both pieces prepared uh, now I can grab my this way sorry my sewing machine and add there some sewing I would like to have sewing here on this edge 
so i'm gonna start with that i do have my stitching on the top i can grab the back back piece and here uh, i can secure it with a little bit of glue on the sides i think i don't have to put there too much glue actually i didn't have to so i'm gonna place it here and let it dry for minute and then uh, i'm gonna be sewing from the bottom all around of this so the sides and bottom will be sewn and i will have a nice pocket i do have my pocket sewn all around and that i do have nice beautiful pocket and this style of uh, book page pocket it's perfect to glue on the page so you can have another pocket behind as I ripped off one of these pockets before, uh, I'm going to do some uh, kind of like shadowing or hiding my previous ripping off right now. And I'm going to grab one of the toilet paper rolls, cut it on half. And have a look. And we do have nice big piece. So first... Let's it's something what I do. Uh, isopropanol, which is 99.9% .9 alcohol, it kills bacteria. That's <laughs> what is in my head when I do work with toilet paper rolls. It doesn't have any other reason why I do spray my pa toilet paper rolls. I'm going to flat it down, cut it in the size, which I can actually fit to cover these two. You know what? I actually will keep it the big as it is, because it will make uh, it will make nice, beautiful tap on the side. So I'm gonna grab some embossing folder. I do have the embossed effect done. I did use this a beautiful embossing folder from Creative Expressions. It's called Flora Floral Stripes. Uh, I'm gonna cut the corners of this toilet paper roll and I'm cutting it with that large uh, corner punch and I'm also gonna use a glue and glue all these open parts so I do have these two pieces uh, this would be pocket in the background with a part which will be picking out on this side here and this will be pocket which will be sitting on the top so now this i would don't want to distress because it does have beautiful edges here which are kind of similar with the colors here so i'm not gonna touch this but this i would like definitely to distress here on this side it's quite darker color uh, that i'm gonna kind of get with the vintage photo distress ink and here is mix of colors so i'm gonna also kind of like get some mix i'm not gonna use blue but i will use uh, sandstorm from uh, spectrum noir and i'm gonna also use i think twilight gray from spectrum noir both are harmony lines which are water uh, reactive dye inks As a last thing, I'm going to go with that twilight gray on the edges, just on the edges, not too much distressing like with circle motions. Yeah, I think that's what I needed. And here I'm going to go with the same ink just on the bottom. Yes, just on the bottom of that. On this embossed piece, I wanna use, I wanna try 
I was thinking about this one for <laughs> such a long time, so I'm gonna give it a try. I do have here a leftover from uh, liquid glass. It's 3 art liquid glass and I always wanted to try how it will look like if I will spread it over the embossed effect. So I think today is a day when I will actually try it and try to paint it with this liquid glass and then let it dry before I will attach that book page. I do have that liquid glass dry so it's kind of like glossy now and I can uh, put this on the top I'm gonna have a look here gonna find the right spot where I wanted to have it so it will be this way because that uh, liquid glass, it's um, it's nice and um, yeah, in glossy. I'm gonna be using for gluing this book page pocket on the top. Uh, I'm gonna be using double sided tape. So I know here on the bottom of my pocket I can put full full size. Now uh, I'm gonna place it this way so I know how high I can go. I think somewhere here and it will be from this side so here I would like to have the third piece of double sided tape now I can take it off and place it here that way I just created another pocket behind this so I can slide there a tack like this yeah, I'm gonna take that double sided tape and I'm gonna place it here on the bottom and then I'm guessing somewhere here. On the edge of the page where I would like to you know to place it I can take off the backing from double sided tape and place my pocket right here so I do have pocket behind nice large pocket behind i do have pocket here and i do have pocket here i do have here these two pieces um, like scraps stamped and uh, i'm just gonna glue them here like a little decoration they are uh, heavily distressed with vintage photo and with seal brown vintage photo Distress ink from Ranger, Seal Brown, uh, water, water reactive ink from Spectrum Noir. And this one made here. You know, just like little decorations. I can also grab some of these. I do have all kinds of stamped images <laughs> on my leftovers. So I can take some of these and place them here. You know, to decorate the other side. Right here, maybe. I will see. First I need to distress it. So I do have distressed my pieces and I'm gonna glue them here. Just to add there a little bit, you know, decoration. This one. Oh, come here. And here I do have tape. Maybe I can place there also a little bit of a red color. So I'm gonna stamp something red and then glue it here 
and this is how my pocket will looks like in the journal with those little layers around so i do have pocket here large pocket behind and then pocket here in that envelope with the same work process uh, you can create beautiful window envelope so i'm gonna create the uh, same sheet like before same two sheets like before folded half pocket front pocket and two pages glued together for a back side now i'm gonna again fold uh, the long piece over the small piece the way i would like to see it in the end like this so here i will create closures again on this spot i can create beautiful window i'm gonna grab some acetate piece in my stuff of off cuts from uh, any kind of uh, acetate piece acetate sheets and packaging i found this one which can fit actually here so i'm gonna create a little window in my pocket can i get a pencil here i think i'm gonna uh, get the lines these here and here Thank you. so i can create nice window by using my ruler eh? I'm gonna cut this window inside. So I do have my little piece cut out. I can place here this piece of acetate. I do have my two pieces. I do have that, that acetate sheet. I also used a corner punch and I punched all these corners here and bottom corners on the pocket to match it with this one. If I will flip it over, this is upside down, obviously. This will be in the right direction here, but here it is upside down, that text. So I'm going to decorate this backside with probably washi tapes and do there some sewing around. I have used uh, washi tape as a first, then I did a little sewing around the window, then I used these stickers here and here. And I'm done with decorating this one for now. Now I can add the closure here and I'm going to do exactly the same like before. I'm going to add a circle closure here with the brat, another one here. And then sew it these two pockets together. And also right now, before I will attach them together, I'm going to be using this brown tape. By the way, I do have always many questions about this brown tape. I bought it here on car boot sales i never saw rolls like this before <laughs> so i wanted to buy it it was like wow look at that <laughs> and it's perfect brown tape actually so i think it's uh, the, the carpet uh, carpets shops probably have this one i'm not sure i never saw that before and i didn't see that after that either who oh, should Okay, I'm gonna try <laughs> to use this brown tape around the frame here to cover, you know, that acetate piece and keep it safe and not on the way when I will want to slide something inside. And maybe on the sides, I will see. Probably, yes. And I have sewed uh, these two parts get together. And now I do have beautiful window pocket. I can put something inside. I also attach this uh, closure. So here I can place some images inside. And I do believe 
It looks awesome. I do have here my stamped ephemeras, so maybe something from here as well. And I do have my lovely window envelope done with the same process like the pocket before. And just place it right here. Very easy coin envelope. So you're going to fold this, the book page, like this. Then you're going to grab the opposite side, fold it over the first fold, like this. So you know that these two are overlapping and you have a space to glue it together, like this. Then you're going to fold each of these ends. One will be bottom, one will be top. So, depends on the writing, right? Here, this will be top of my coin envelope. So, this one I'm going to fold a little bit more. It will make flap. This will be flap of my coin envelope. And here, this will be bottom. So, the bottom doesn't have to be folded too much. I do have base folding done. I'm gonna grab my scissors. And here I'm gonna cut in the small angle. This, this one I'm gonna cut straight with the fold. Here I'm gonna cut also with small angle to that fold. And here I'm gonna cut straight with a fold. So these two will go together, kind of like in the angle. Here on the bottom, I'm going to do the same with a small angle here. And here it can be also with a small light angle. Same on that opposite side. Small angle to that fold cross. And with a small angle that fold so if i will fold it this way this will go over and this will be flap i'm gonna use the corner punch and cut these corners so i found this beautiful napkin which i would like to use um, for covering that pocket I'm going to take off the layers, at least I will try, right? One. And I think there is another layer. I have glued that pocket all together and I can use my liquidish glue. I do have here PVA glue mixed with a little bit of water so it's not that thick. Glue my napkin on it. You do have this napkin for a very long time and I really don't remember where I bought it. I think from eBay, I guess. So now I'm going to apply the glue on this bottom pocket. I'm gonna let it dry and then uh, rip off 
excess all around. So I do have uh, all my envelope decoupaged with that napkin. I do have here you know, kind of like label. It's Tim Holtz stamp. It's just part you know, part of stamp. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. This is also from Tim Holtz stamps. And I do have my cute little coin envelope with that background uh, book page print with the beautiful napkin collage on it or decoupage on it and just little layout. And I still have piece of that napkin so I'm gonna continue with some another pocket. First uh, I do have here the book page which I used for that coin envelope. Uh, I'm going to fold that book page on three equal pieces, like this, and glue it all together, so I will have nice reinforced piece. I have reinforced this piece before I will do something else I'm gonna plan the pockets on it I do have here a kind of similar size same size of book page and I'm gonna place that book page kind of in the middle or place that reinforced piece in the middle and fold the book page around this so i do have folded that book page uh, in the size of my reinforced tag and now i would like to see this one because <laughs> it's just beautiful so i'm gonna fold that uh, front i think i'm gonna place that tag here and yeah plan how much i can fold this front i think this way so I'm going to be using napkin for that front and for that reinforced back, but before I will do so, uh, I want to make sure I know the parts of my pockets. So I'm going to open it, get up my scissors, and with the scissors I'm going to cut here, this bottom from the fold to the uh, edge, and here same, from that fold to the edge just small notch so I do have separate folding here and I do have separate foldings here so I can do this one I can create one pocket and I can create another pocket very easy way I do have dried napkin here on this place. I placed a little bit of napkin here as well. And I do have napkin on my reinforced this background piece. I'm going to cut the corners actually. I'm going to use my envelope punch board and create this one a little bit more decorative. Yeah, just like this. Gonna first give it try to, you know, to place it around my reinforced tank just to make sure I do have all folds the right way. Yeah, it will be this way. 
Zo. I think we'll finish this front pocket. I'm gonna cut this one in the angle here and this one in the angle to make sure it will don't get you know visible too much. So fold these. Apply the glue on these folds and glue front pocket. Now I'm gonna take my reinforced piece. I'm gonna place this around, make sure I do have it right way. Flip it over, open these. I'm gonna lift it up here, put a glue on the bottom, place it down, put the glue here, and here. And glue it around my reinforced tag. So that way I do have one pocket here, another pocket here, and if I will glue it on my page, maybe here and here, I will have another pocket behind. I'm gonna decorate it a little bit, and this is my double pocket from book page with little napkin decoupage, and again I used same kind of like um, stamped images part of. Uh, the label and the hand from Tim Holtz stamps and some stickers and I do have one smaller tag here one large tag in there so now I can place it in my journal somewhere So one could be here and other one I can create some pocket. Oh, I do have pocket here. So I can either slide it in here or I can use it as a pocket here or place it anywhere else actually and create another pocket. Maybe I can glue glue it here and it will be as an extra pocket on these pockets I'm gonna glue it here I'm gonna put the glue on two sides and with that I'm gonna create uh, another pocket so I'm gonna put the glue here and on the bottom of course so that way I will have pocket from this side and I will place it here. I can place some ephemeras from this side. I'm gonna let this dry. Meanwhile, my pockets was drying, I decided to create uh, some uh, another extra pockets and window pockets. Uh, using toilet paper rolls. I like to use toilet paper rolls because they are made from quite a nice heavy craft uh, craft, uh, craft cardstock <laughs> and it's really good to create with them. I did use again uh, embossing folders, dies and I created my uh, little frames and little pockets. It was lots of fun. I do have a video tutorial which I shared I think it be before Christmas about craft with toilet paper rolls and there is many ideas how you can use these. So go to have a look. I will link it down below in the description box and here just a little preview what I did and uh, how I did change my toilet paper rolls.
I do have done uh, these frames. I already placed a few of them in this journal, like here on the opposite side of this pocket. I do have quite loads of pockets now in this journal, in this journal, but it's not done yet. I'm gonna continue with it. One I do have here. One I do have here. So we have pocket here and pocket behind and pocket here and another I do have here and one more here. So that's uh, all my creation for today. I hope you found some inspiration. I hope you will uh, check out the video where I am using toilet paper rolls for creating all kinds of stuff for junk journals. Thank you so much for visiting me today and spending your time with me. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.